Welcome back to The Real Story. The Army's new tattoo policy may be turning away qualified, willing recruits. This says it also stops some of those already enlisted from advancing in their careers. So under the new regulation, soldiers cannot have tattoos on their head, face, neck, wrists, hands, or fingers. Soldiers can't exceed the limit of four visible tattoos below the elbow or knee. Plus, sleeve tattoos below the elbow or knee are also banned, and this policy is preventing folks from serving their country. We stop all processing at that point. We don't know if they would be eligible or not, but they are disqualified based on the tattoos alone. Well, joining me now, Adam Shatarsky, United States Marine Corps veteran and co-founder of The Wounded Walk, and he has a neck tattoo that would not meet the new guidelines. Great no. to see you again, Adam. I know you've been on the show before to talk about The Wounded Walk. And now you're back to talk about a policy that many people do not know about. Why? Right. Why is the military saying that if you have these certain kinds of tattoos like you do, that you wouldn't be eligible? Well, you know, it's funny. I find it kind of ridiculous that you have Army General St. Clair, who was just stripped of two ranks before his retirement because of sexual misconduct. and. What image is that projecting? It's projecting a far worse image than an 18-year-old young man who wants to do something greater than himself and serve his country, but he's being, you know, he's being pushed out the door because he has an arm full of tattoos. I think it's absurd. Now, I understand that you have a neck tattoo. Where, where is it? Yes, I have a, a nice big owl on the back of my neck. And when did you get that? Uh, I got this one a little over a year ago. So technically, if you had that tattoo before or when you were recruited, you would not have been eligible. Uh, negative. I, I wouldn't have been eligible. Uh, I, listen, having tattoos doesn't mean that you cannot serve your country to the best of your ability. It doesn't affect the way that you do your job. Mm -hmm. it doesn't, a tattoo doesn't teach loyalty. It doesn't, and teach, it doesn't teach camaraderie. Right. Well, and and I'm, I'm hearing you. I want to I also share this particular quote. Uh, the tattoo policy, this is from Colonel Jennifer Buckner, commander of the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade. The tattoo policy is preventing some of our soldiers from being warrant officers. That's a current bit of strife. It's my understanding in Arizona alone, Adam, 500 recruits were recently turned away because of tattoos. Right. I mean, that's alarming. Don't we need people to serve our country right now? And by the way, aren't they volunteering? That's, this is, our military is a voluntary force. So I don't understand if, if the applicant is qualified and is ready, willing, and able to serve his country, what does a tattoo have to do with them wanting to do something noble? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand it. Well, here's what the Army's saying about it. The Army is a profession and one of the ways our leaders in the American public measure our professionalism is by our appearance. That is the way that they are responding to this. And you say what? Well, a lot of the appearance of the Army right now isn't, isn't too good. You have the highest rank, whether they have tattoos or not, you have the highest ranking leadership in the Army being busted down two ranks. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> I well, think it's ridiculous. The priorities are backwards. All right. Adam Shatarsky, a uh, retired uh, from Marine, a veteran. I know you're always a Marine, uh, but thank you so always. much for sharing your thoughts today. Thanks, sir. Thank you.